Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Kiddos Creative Creations. I'm Latoya, and thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel to hang out with me for this really quick video. So I wanted to hop on here and make a video because I know several of you all who watch my videos, you all make your own custom party favors. And if you go to my Etsy shop, you see that I sell a lot of digital party favors like chip bags, Capri Sun labels, Rice Krispie treats. And I also sell several templates to help you create your own custom and personalized party favors. So the reason for this video is because I have been getting several requests for print and ship options. So I'm realizing a lot of the customers, um, they don't have the option to go to the store and have their items printed for them. So they are looking for print and ship. So I have started doing that and I want to show you how I'm doing my chip bags, my goodie bags. So just like in my videos, I print these out on the glossy photo paper. For this, I just use my inkjet printer. I have an HP Envy inkjet printer. When you're using that printer or any other printer, when you're using photo paper or glossy paper, you have to make sure your settings is correct. On the glossy photo paper, make sure your setting is, the paper is selected to photo paper and your printing, your print quality is set to best. And these, this is the results. It comes out really nice. And I'm realizing after, as I'm making these, when I have like 20, 30 bags to make, the hot glue is not going to cut it, you know. So <laughs> the hot glue is fine for me if I'm just, you know, making a couple of bags. But if I'm making a dozen bags, hot glue is too much. So I found this tape over on Amazon I was looking for a scrum tape that I knew that was gonna hold everything especially after you put chips or um, treats in here I wanted to make sure the bags will hold and this is some strong tape I'll leave a link in the description box down below um, the name of this tape and where I found it but it's really good tape I just wish it had like a runner that I can put it in I didn't see an option for that but um, the only thing is I have to cut it out and place the tape. So just like I would do with the hot glue gun, I fold my I fold my paper back. I run the tape along the top, but I don't take off the back piece at the top. I leave that for the customer to take off. So when the bag is sealed, when they get ready to seal the bag, they can just remove the tape. So I put tape up here down here and on the side and I assemble the bag okay after that it looks like this and I use my paper crumper to crump the ends and this is how it looks so when the customer receives the bag they can just open the bag up and they can remove that top piece of the tape so they can seal the bag closed once they put the chips in the bag. So, sorry for this angle. I just wanted to make that quick video to share with you all some tips. If you all are shipping your items or if you, if you have purchased a digital um, printable from me to share with you how to print and assemble your items. Alright guys, if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And make sure you hit that notification bell. I do plan on making more videos. I have gotten a couple requests for some videos. Like um, um, the, the table, the centerpieces. I'm going to be making a video about some centerpieces. My daughter's birthday is coming up. So I'm going to make some, center, some table centerpieces for her birthday all right guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section all right guys see you next time bye